I don't think they knew that I was going to bring them right on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Javon Lee Jackson and the director of the play, Chocolate Covered Ants, Mr. Courtney Baker Oliver. Are you guys there? Yeah, we are. are. Good evening. Hi. <laughs> I think I caught you guys off guard. How are you? Good. I'm I'm doing very well. I just stepped out of rehearsal. I'm excited for you all to see what we've been kicking up in there. Awesome. If anybody, you know, that knows me knows that I have a soft spot in my heart for theater. The theater. Well, we like to hear that. Yes. More (laughs) theater going on. And tell us, yes, please tell us. um, Director Courtney Baker Oliver joins me on the line along with Javon Lee Jackson. Who is, gosh, actor, producer, extraordinaire. Amazing. He does so many different things. I want you guys to tell me about this play, Chocolate Covered Ants. It's at the Bowie Performing Arts Center. It is at the Bowie Center for the Performing Arts. We okay. open this Thursday and we run through August the 10th. Uh, it is a play, uh, it's sort of like the black man's answer to Hitoshaki Sange's famous for colored girls. Okay. Uh, yeah, it speaks to uh, black men and the different circumstances and situations that they found themselves in. Uh, it is the story of five different men offering solutions to some of the problems that they face. Uh, it's written by Stephen A. Butler Jr., who is also a Howard University graduate. H.U. in the house. H.U. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> This is the fourth of Stevens productions that have been produced in the area. The first uh, was The Truth, which uh, was critically acclaimed back in 2005. And uh, we've been putting up shows here in the area since then, since 2005. So we are so proud to finally have our permanent home here at the Bowie Center for the Performing Arts. We are the first black theater company in Prince George's County. Really? And, uh, we are wow. very proud of that, yeah. That's awesome. You guys are making history. We are yeah. doing our best. You know, it's, it's, the theater is something, you know, I think it's so important that shows exist that reflect the community. And, Absolutely. You know, unfortunately, there's just not enough of that. We have folks coming in all the time from out of town. Right. Um, we'll bring their shows through. They make money off of our audiences, but we don't put enough with our own homegrown talent. That is so and true. I'm just I'm so pleased to give this platform to the homegrown actors uh, from the area who are putting in such good work, have profound talent to share. Uh, Stephen has a voice that is unlike uh, any other playwright that I've ever known. And just to be able to share what it is that he is putting out there about the black experience, I think is super important. Yes. Tell us who will be performing in the play. Who are your actors? Our actors are David Lamont Wilson, uh, who has been working here in the Washington Theater for, well, I guess, about 25 years now, and is actually very, very well known. He's been on all of the major states in the city. Uh, so there, there's David. And don't forget, he's another HU alumni. All right. There is um, Christopher Ezell, who is another HU alumni, who is well known as a DJ and an MC here in the area. Okay. Uh, Wilbelin Horton, right. uh, H2, Clarman yeah. Ackland, uh, who's doing a wonderful job reprising the role of AJ from The Truth, uh, which many of our audiences, people who've come to see our shows before, will recognize the name AJ. AJ was a lead character in our very first show. We revisit AJ now, some five years later in this piece, who's just interesting. Uh, August Wilson used to do that in his shows, and Stephen is incorporating that into this, uh, but Clone Acklin, uh, Charles Smith, uh, uh, who, who am I leaving out so far? Um, uh, Marquis Fair. Marquis Fair, who is amazing. Uh, and playing, he's playing against Tyke in the piece, and, you know, it's just to see him, he's doing a wonderful job, and this piece is led by a female actor, a uh, female actor, Suli Myrie, who is also a Howard University graduate, plays the psychologist who is analyzing these various men and is coaxing their stories out of them. Uh. And uh, if you like, if you are a fan of really great acting, seeing Suli Mai Reed in this performance, I mean, it is transfixing. I mean, she is a phenomenon and should be getting paid lots of money to act. <laughs> it's really, she, really, she really is spectacular. What she has, the range of emotions that she has to go through in the play is quite, quite extraordinary. Wow, so how long will 
will the play be running? Uh, we run the 31st of July through the 10th of August. Uh, so there are shows Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night with Sunday matinees at 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, tickets are, the tickets are selling well, so I encourage folks to get online via our website, www.restorationstage.com, to reserve their seats now as they are going fast. Oh, good. And, yeah, our, our, the name of our company is Restoration Stage, Inc. Our mission is to restore the black family oh, one right. story at a time. One story at a time. You know, so that's what, that, that's what this really is about, is telling these individual stories uh, so that we don't forget who we are, that we might be able to uh, outline a path for moving forward. And, and as, I, as I said before, to showcase homegrown talent in the DMV. I think that's very, very important and necessary. Well, Courtney, you're definitely a phenomenal spokesperson for this theater <laughs> yes, company. Yes, yes, Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, passionate, I'm passionate about it. You know, I, I, spent, I spent 10 years teaching at the Development School of the Arts, and I am currently, I'm starting a, a theater program over at Easter High School. Wow. I've been educating young young actors in this city. I, I don't want you to know how old I am, <laughs> but I have been training actors in this city now for about 20 years myself and you know I just I know that we have a wealth of talent to sort of bring to the stage and so I speak passionately about it because I am so passionate about it I think that um, the time has come for not even just Restoration Stage but for other companies like Restoration Stage to emerge that do tell the stories of our people I think it's time awesome and Javon are you still there? I am still here, yes, ma'am. You are the producer for this play, right? Yes, I am the producer of this play, and I was approached by uh, Courtney and Stephen uh, earlier this year about, you know, assisting them on this effort, and I was overly excited to, to be a part of this because they are one of the first mm -hmm. African-American theater company in Prince George's County, and that's phenomenal being that Prince George's County is primarily an African-American yes. and the wealthiest. And the world, the world it sure is back. in the country. In the yeah. country, so you know, just 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 to be a part of this experience and this phenomenon, as well as this uh, beautiful piece that Stephen has created, has been a labor of love, and I'm very excited for the audiences of the DMV area to check us out starting this Thursday. So tell us once again the website, um, how folks can get tickets, all that good stuff, the show times. Once again, okay. Uh, Go ahead, Javon, Mr. Producer. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, you can purchase tickets at restorationstage.com. Uh, they are on sale for us. For the shows are July the 31st through August the 10th. Uh, those are Thursday through Saturday shows at 8 p.m. And our Sunday shows are at 3 p.m. And that is the 3rd of August and the 10th of August. All right. Well, Courtney Baker Oliver, who's the director of Chocolate Covered Ants, and the producer Javon Lee Jackson, thank you guys so much, and congratulations hey, on what you're doing. You so thank you, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you at the show. Absolutely, I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiana. You're you welcome. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Come back again. Talk to you guys soon. Yes. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye bye. Bye bye.